A good, big confident booster going into the season. You know, it was really good to see you know, everything clicking out there. Fast game, running game. You know, no matter who came in the game, you know, the drop off. You know, it was good. It was good to see and it shows how much depth we got on the offense side. And also the defense side played good, especially in Farrell. So it was just a good, a good team showing today. You looked as comfortable as you've ever looked in a game situation, at least that we've had the opportunity to see. Did you feel comfortable from the word go? What were the nerves like before this thing started? I'm um, just, you know, it's just leading up to it, um, being out there, taking the first snap. It just quiet my mind, just get ready for this performance because I, I knew I knew what I could do and all along. You know, everybody wanted, you know, said I couldn't do it, so I knew, it. you know, just go out there, and take one play at a time, you know, beat Kelly B, and you know, the rest show, and the rest take it yourself. Kelly, it's just one game. What did you see on the fight the offense for yourself to know that all the talk going into this game when you came out and performed the way that you did? Well, I was good. You know, I wasn't surprised. I knew what type of player I was. You know, it was just, you know, now people are starting to see. You know, got to see it with us today, you know. And also, we all knew what was in the um, offense rooms as well, you know. Like, people want to talk about everybody else leaving. But, like I said, it's been saying all along, we got a bunch of guys in that room to make plays, and that's what they did today. Did you get any messages from Deshaun before the game? Um, nah, I didn't. I, I talked to him, but it wasn't like no message, you know. Yeah, he going to probably tell me the same thing. Just be you. Do you. Kelly, if you were to describe the confidence level in this team right now, how would you? Um, very confident. You know, going just on uh, this game, you know, you can see it out there on the field. You no know, guys make, running around making plays, offensive line gelling, everybody's having fun, embracing, enjoying the moment, you know, good to see. With you grew up right down the street. What was it like for you? you? You've watched Clemson play since you were a young kid. What was it like for you to run out there knowing you were the starting quarterback for the Tigers for the first time? Uh, like I said, just a blessing, all the work. You know, it's so like it was being, you know, displayed today. I've been working, you know, since I've been here. You know, and uh, to see it, you know, witnesses out there today was really good. With all eyes on you, was it almost a sense of relief to hit that long early ball to Dion to kind of just maybe get all the jitters out of the way, kind of, so to speak? Um, yes, but, you know, that was the second drive. You know, the first drive, you know, went out there, they got first downs, you know, moving off it, moving the chains, you know, went out there to score, you know, that was good, you know. We um, get me come out there first, you know, get the confidence, get it on our belt. Also hitting the big play to Dion, you know, good good protection up front. You know, he made a play. You know, that's what he does. That's what we got in that uh, offense room. How many times have you guys repped that round? Uh, plenty of times. You know, some we worked in the summer as well. And like I said, fall count. You know, just routine play. You know, you got to make those. How nice was it to get to go out there and play the entire first half and, and not have to come in and out of the game? Uh, it was really good. You know, being out there, you know, getting meaningful snaps and, you know, getting to play around with the first offense. So it was, it was good. Gavin said one of the things that really stood out about you during fall camp is he said you, had, you came up with more swag this time. That you kind of, I, you know, I thought that you know, kind of looked that way in the press conferences. You seemed just like a little more confident, comfortable being in that role. Was there a point where that kind of clicked and that you felt like, hey, I'm just going to enjoy this? Uh, yes, you know, probably the clip, the clip on um, spring ball, you know, you know, you've been the guy, so now it's your opportunity. You've been working for it. Let's let's go ride. Let's make some out of it. So you putting the hat back on the referee after it got knocked off? <laughs> How did that conversation go? Oh, I, you know, I ran. I accidentally hit it off his head. So you know, I wanted to put it back on. So you know, you're getting a reputation as the most polite quarterback in the league. Hey, man. I hope so. I can keep it going. <laughs> How important is it for you to know that you've got four running backs back there that can kind of take the pressure off? Oh, it's good. You know, like we've been saying, we've got so much depth in that offense room. You know, seeing those guys out there, like everybody scored, you know, that running back room. So it was good to see. You know, good to know, you know, no matter who's in there, those guys ain't going to be on drop off. They're going to get the job done. How do you kind of balance the confidence you all this obviously take away from this game with knowing that the competition is going to be much, much tougher these next couple of weeks uh, and moving forward? Just um, go back and watch film. You know, we, you know everything wasn't clear as day out there. You know, find ways to get better. We're not going to be complacent. But like I said, we're going to keep, keep striving, keep working. Was there anything different going through your head when you got to the top of the hill today knowing that it was your time? Pretty much that's it. It's my time, my opportunity. So let's go do it.